Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Durkin Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at, well, how Int Bojack, or oh, sorry, Int Full Power Bojack Galactic Warrior does in the Cell Max or the Super Activation Cell Max event after his recent Extreme Z Awakening. Now, it's something important to understand, it's my usual disclaimer that occurs at the beginning of every single one of my Cell Max videos, but Cell Max is a unit that is best taken on with the ability to essentially, as always, uh, have high levels of damage reduction, guard, or a combination of both of these alongside high levels of evasion. Basically, that's just how it rolls. It's a very hard-hitting event, and the first two phases of the event, although not as hard-hitting or nearly as hard-hitting as the final phase, are incredibly short comparatively to other long-form events. So what it does is it creates a bit of difficulty in terms of stacking up your units. You simply don't have enough time for units to really stack up as much as you want them to. So this is just one of those things. Now, in terms of Bojack, Bojack is actually at a natural advantage in this event because of a couple reasons. One, Bojack has what I'd like to call natural advantage due to the fact that he has true guard. So, Bojack is an extreme type unit, which means he does not suffer the extreme super crossover divide in terms of damage, as well as the fact that he also is in type, which means he has a natural level of defense against the physical type or sorry the tech type of the final phase he also has high enough raw defense that the second phase isn't really a big deal to him now his best team i think at least for uh you know any kind of like these events is either the time travelers team which i think is a decently solid team for him or or alternatively you can run a movie boss's terrifying conquerors team you know with captain ginyu or with uh lr cooler the only real issue i have with you know uh any of those teams is obviously the linking partner now bojack does link decently well with units like lr full power uh final form cooler but the big issue for him there is key luckily for him he has key but then cooler has no key so it just depends on who you're running as supports but yeah bojack does have some viable teams so you're not entirely stuck in the dark trying to run them or anything like that. Uh, there is some ability to run them in a lot of content. So obviously from that perspective, when it comes down to it, I think in Bojack could be a definite solid option for the Cell Max event on a lot of those teams. Because of the fact that he has such decent stats, because of the fact that he gets better with lower health, and because of the fact that he increases your allies attack as well, there are actually quite a few benefits to running him, which I think is pretty good stuff. Personally speaking, um, I like it. I, I do indeed like him as a unit. I like what he brings to the table. I like what he brings in terms of performance. Yes, are there things that you could do to improve his performance 100%? No, he's not necessarily a huge tank that you can use to soak up a lot of damage. But with just one dupe, which my uh, you know, Bojack has, he can tank single digits from Cell Max after supering, which is good. Uh, and not to mention that, but he also can do relatively well tanking you know, in general. I think for me personally, it all comes down to your uh, personal preference of what you need you know, in Bojack to do. What do you need him to bring to the table in terms of performance? Do you need him to tank? Uh, then you are going to be found wanting. He won't be able to soak up supers, but he'll be able to do a decent job with normals. Do you need a damage dealer? Uh, this is where I believe Int Bojack shines, uh, because he can deal some pretty good damage. He is a very solid damage dealer, and he does exist in a you know, strong situation in terms of damage. He's you know, relatively quite good. He hits good attack stats. Uh, you want to build him into crit because of his design. Uh, and yeah, in general, he also boosts the rest of your team's attack, which is you know, something that does help out as well. So I would say overall, Bojack is a good unit. I, I like him a lot. I think he brings a lot to the table. 
defensively sound as well for this event. For most events, uh, he has the raw defense to handle normals on a lot of events. Yes, he won't be able to take on supers. Uh, that's not something I think should be a surprise to anyone. But yeah, in general, I do think Bojack is in a good position. And I think he's a lot of fun to run. If not, you know, a unit that's insane to run, if that makes sense. Obviously as well, there are a couple of things you can do to improve his performance. Uh, firstly, you have the ability to link level him, and link leveling affects this Bojack a lot. Like, link leveling him changes how he performs quite substantially. By link leveling him, you do quite a lot to him. Big Bad Bosses uh, gives him 25% attack and defense start a turn. Uh, he also has Revival, which is a great link to link level. Uh, you also have Heraclan and Greatest or Galactic Warrior. These are very strong links, although difficult for him to actually activate. Terrifying Conqueror is, or, or Thirst for Conquest, I should say. I, I always call it the category name. But Thirst for Conquest, very strong link as well. That gives you quite a lot in terms of output. So there's a lot going on. Um, it's you know, not as simple as saying, like, there's no room to improve him. Just link leveling him alone improves him quite a bit. Uh, in terms of build, I do prefer the crit build on him just because of his big beefy attack stats. And I find that these work best when you link level a unit or have a unit with crit. Uh, but you could lobby for him to do uh, additionals if you're looking to just boost the rest of the rotation. So here we have him in his best scenario. Uh, you're going to see him tank a normal before super and you're going to see him tank a super attack afterwards. Both he does really well on. He would tank single digits from normal afterwards uh, after firing his super because obviously he raises his defense. But in terms of his performance he does really well. Obviously tanking a super from a cell max is always really hard to do. But to put it in perspective if I had this Bojack uh, fully linked leveled and I had him uh, with a defensive equip, he would have survived. So that's a really good performance. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it is really good. But yeah, that's all we need to see from Bojack. I think overall, a solid option for the Cell Max event and a good unit in general. But that's it from me. See you guys next time. Bye.